Normal is boring on live TV. It needs some weird, spooky incidents to make it more exciting. You know, like moving cups or a terrifying incident that made headlines worldwide. Some reporters who saw a paranormal activity right in front of them and fainted, while some just opted to run away. Here are 10 thrilling moments of scariness that were caught on live TV. Oh my gosh, no! This subscriber pick of the day is about a reporter who was covering a Halloween event she really doesn't want to cover. And soon, you'll see her covering her face with her hands out of fear because she was pranked by a man wearing a scary mask. He came from her backside and scared her so badly, she even started shivering for once. That guy literally made her heart stop because I've never seen someone that scared ever on live TV. School Rescue This spine-chilling incident made headlines worldwide when it was rumored that a teenage girl had been tramped in a school in the aftermath of the 2017 Mexico City earthquake. Reports say that a 12-year-old girl asked for help from the rescuers and told them her name. She asked them to save her and told her her name was Frida Sofia. Now watch, a girl can be seen in this clip. She's that alleged survivor, Frida Sofia, but there was no one with this name studying in that school. In fact, it was led to discover that Frida didn't even exist. So who did rescuers see and talk to then? The report was so eerie, strange, and powerful that it made headlines all around the world. A whole team of Navy rescuers cannot be mistaken into misidentifying a child. What do you think about this bizarre event? Color Flips of File Case After the end of a court session, this UK politician was walking toward the press with a distinctly red file case. You can see it clearly. And then comes a car that conceals it from the camera angle, and when it comes out, it's green. Let's see it again. There are no cuts in the clip, and it was a live news report by Sky News on national TV. The case is red, and the man passes through the car, and he comes back into the frame, the case becomes obviously green. Viewers were boggled, with some claiming it was evidence of government manipulations, and some that it was paranormal in nature. The mystery has not been solved to today. What do you think about this? Maybe this is video evidence of a glitch in the matrix. Reporters passing out. Well, this is a very professional and passionate reporter who was covering a political rally in Pakistan. But just in seconds, she goes from normal to in serious need of help in seconds flat. She was giving her remarks so flauntingly when something mysterious happened with her as all of her facial expressions changed within seconds and turned extremely spooky before finally passing out. And if you look into her eyes, you can see that it could be a paranormal moment caught on live TV. Maybe she saw something off the camera that really made her pass out. There's another popular clip of Wendy Williams who passed out on live TV in quite a bizarre way. The show producer says that the reason for her passing out was probably overheating due to heavy costume, prosthetics, and makeup. Okay, now fainting is pretty normal in workplaces, but the way these two ladies passed out appeared very eerie to me. You guys can look again and tell us what you think about this. Random Things Moving This is one of my favorite entries because these are the most mind-boggling clips of paranormal caught on live TV where random things were found moving around. First, see this strange incident that occurred inside a radio station where two people were conversing about pop culture. Everything was normal until nothing remained normal. The production team was watching the two discussing from the other side of a glass wall. Out of the blue, one of the newspapers flew away from the two individuals, leaving them shocked. The hosts missed it completely, but the camera caught this bag moving on its own during a live show. Freaky. These two show hosts were in the show when the glass moved from the right to the left, leaving one of the hosts bewildered. Both of them kept their composure, but whoa, whoa, that was scary. In another such clip, when a Spanish talk show was about to go live after a commercial break, one of the participants was shocked to her core when she found a self-moving cup. The cup just moved on its own during the break. Do you guys think it was all due to poltergeists, or were these publicity stunts? Let's move forward while you can answer in the comments section. Modern Exorcism well, a new reporter made his report on modern exorcism, and these are behind the scenes of that documented report. The clips show a poltergeist that casts demons out of a possessed woman. The woman in the video shown was allegedly being possessed by demons, 
and her father brought her to the priest who was performing an exorcism on her. The girl's name was Becky Parker, and she now believes that she was possessed by demons and thinks she has been saved by the love of God through the rite of exorcism. Possessed by Thai Model During an interview, Thai model Tipawan Pui Chapupong left everyone who saw her in shock as she appeared as if she was possessed by a cannibalistic ghost on live TV. <laughs> the video of the model talking gibberish on TV has gone viral. Though I couldn't understand what she was saying, reports claim that she demanded pig's blood. The model was being interviewed when she suddenly told the host she often gets possessed by a cannibalistic ghost named Pop, and then suddenly, the model starts shivering, writhing and shrieking as if she was possessed by Pop again. By the way, just for your side knowledge, in Thai folklore, Pop is a cannibalistic spirit who is said to possess young women and destroy them from within. Reporter Pranked by Spooky Man You might have guessed from the title of this entry that this reporter was pranked by a man. Once a reporter was covering a spooky theme park, and I swear, I have never seen a reporter anywhere close to being this scared, especially on live TV. She was about to move ahead to explore the spooky themed area when a man suddenly appeared from the right door wearing a scary clown mask with long blood red hair on it. That made the reporter freak out and she screamed badly for some seconds in fear and she fell over on the ground, gathering herself up to stand again on her feet. Possessed Doll Debbie Merrick goes on a live television TV show that is a popular breakfast news program broadcast to give an interview about a possessed doll at which she doesn't even want to look. According to her, she only had it for a month and some mysterious things started to happen in her house, like small scratches were seen on her family and friends whenever they visited. While she was talking about the doll, suddenly the chair began to rock and everyone noticed that. It seemed like the doll was rocking the chair back and forth. Maybe it wanted to grab attention or wanted others to believe that she exists. It probably could be a publicity stunt if you ask me. I don't see how, as the doll's pretty much in the middle of the floor and no one could move the chair without being noticed. But the eyes of the doll looked extremely creepy. Reporting on live TV On May 28, 1982, at 5 p.m., a man named Joseph Billy Gwynn walked into the cool TV office in Phoenix, Arizona. He fired a shot into the air and grabbed production assistant Louis Villa. Gwynn took the station hostage and demanded the airtime to read his manifesto. According to his belief, this could prevent a third world war. Within minutes, police arrived and set up around the newsroom and surrounding the building. But things became messy during negotiations when Gwynn desperately begins making threats to take lives two hours into the crisis. All this melodrama lasted five hours when the news anchor Bill Close agreed to read Gwynn's statement on air at 9.30. The news station went live again and the anchor read the whole 20 minute note while Gwynn sat next to him. The statement showed that he was a disturbed individual, predicting then Senator Edward M. Kennedy would become president and how nuclear weapons were going to destroy the cities across the United States on the 4th of July, 1984. In fact, in his statement, he mentioned how ants will rule the phoenix unless something was done to control it. When Anchor read the whole statement, Gwyn surrendered. Bill Close shook hands with him and pleaded with the police officers to lower their weapons. When were you scared the most in your life? Do tell us in the comments section. Thank you once again.